The tides of history have left me little choice. And once again, science will require the sacrifice of the insignificant. In 47, we had a chance. There was a pact made for the greater good. And today, it will be broken. Progress must take such a step back. This place was quarantined. You gotta be kidding me. What the? supposed to be a routine mission. We go in, identify the biohazard, clean, and get out. We'd experienced hot zones before. We've had to use force before. But this, this was different. The drop location was different. Very different. Government conspiracies, secret weapon testing, aliens. I didn't believe any of it. Nothing could have prepared me for what I was about to encounter. This is my story, my journey. Major Bridges, Has Team Bravo reporting for duty. Have you been able to establish communication with Has Team Delta? Captain, you and your team need to suit up now. You're going in. Chemical oh, I need you to stick close to me. They do things a little differently here. This is Area 51, after all. Follow me, Specialist. Oh, you ready for this? Good. Let's load out the rest of your equipment. I know you don't carry a gun in the lab, Cole, but they're standard issue at Area 51. Get one from the weapon locker, soldier. Here you go, sir. Standard issue pistol, fully equipped. Cole, join Crispy at the range. And you can make it, Cole. 
Step on over to the range and fire off a few shots. Make your mommy proud. Cole, buddy, why don't you grab some ammo and we'll have a little shooting contest? Ready to get schooled, Cole? Okay, Cole. First one to hit all five targets takes home the prize. Hey, you better pop in a fresh clip there, Chief. Let's keep this fair. You're going to have to use your sights on this one. Ready? On your mark? Get set? Go! That's one! Oh, son of a bitch! Best two out of three? Let's not keep them waiting. Move out! They ate my quarters. Okay, gentlemen, let's go. So if you're just joining in, welcome to Area 51. I'll be doing a little bit of uh, side commentary as I go along, but I'll try to keep the chit-chat to a minimal. So, this game was released in 2005 by Midway Entertainment. Uh, it's one of the few games from that era that I genuinely come back to every now and again and just nothing is like it. This is a game that really has a lot of unique features. In addition to the fact that this is the, this game was built entirely from the ground up from the game engine to uh, pretty much everything. Even the physics engine itself um, was built uh, in-house by the team at Midway and uh, just all the details the level of detail, everything in here. It is amazing for a game from 2005, just what they were able to do. A uh, little side note about the game. Uh, the first two years of its development was actually just to get this game engine built. So it's uh, rather unique in that part. But uh, what I'll be doing is be going around and just showing you a little bit of the Easter eggs. I'll be going through the whole campaign from beginning to end. So you're joining if you're joining in now or if you're coming in late, uh, feel free to pop around. Uh, you should have a live view. It should let you uh, rewind back in the stream. So if you missed anything, feel free to go back. Um, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can see. Uh, I'm going to quickly go to each of these doors. I just wanted to give you an introduction. So before I uh, started opening oh, doors or talking over, over uh, dialogue here, uh, you could experience the whole game for what it is. So let's start with the uh, these guys up here. Looks like someone sabotaged the cable winch, and Looper hasn't arrived yet. Get him down here now! After that, I'll call Looper and get him on it. They just pulled the first survivor from below. It's bad. Very bad. What do you mean? He's in hysterics. Oh, brought on by Grand Mal seizures. It's like his skin is melting off his body. Ah, I gotta go. There's problems with his restraints. Like we'll be in lockdown for a while. Take a look at the readings. They just lost the first hazmat team and now they're sending another? What they really need is to send a spec op detachment locked and loaded. Yes, and I hear the new has teams only equipped with pistols. What are they thinking? Data's coming in now. Let's take a look. Cole, I'm getting old here. Alright, so that's the that's what you can find first in the beginning. So now you follow your team through the base. So the first thing we'll notice, um, right off the bat is the game kinda directs you basically where where you're supposed to go in the beginning. Which is of course. It's about time. You guys done goofing off? Scanner. 
Oh, it's our mission specialist. You'll need your scan. <laughs> One man all but dead, one guy here nothing but dead. Cole, take a look at this. Switch to your scanner and get a reading off that arm. Later on, you go through your data bank and see the information in more detail. Aren't these things great? Beats the equipment we had in Rwanda. So part of getting your equipment is you will scan that person's arm. But what you can actually do... So now that we've equipped the scanner... Uh, ah, it's not gonna let me until I scan that first one. So, give me a second. So we'll scan that, we'll make the game happy. Um, but there's all sorts of easter eggs you can get here too. Sir, you are not clear for this area. If you stand here long enough, you'll actually hear those scientists back there comment of uh, what's happening to the guy. Personnel only. What's All right, man. Bridges are waiting. Right to move. To find the levels. Yep. Oh, oh, it actually. Uh, holy. Oh. Wow. So you can actually avoid this whole scan procedure if you uh, delay it long enough. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So we've scanned our arm, now the game is going to get us over here where we uh, get introduced to Bridges. I want every square inch of this base searched. We've got an unauthorized agent running around loose here. He's compromised the elevator and blew up that transport truck. There's no telling what he'll try to destroy next. Most of our men are down below, leaving us understaffed. Ramirez, I know this isn't your line of work. But I need you and your team to help in the search. Okay, men. We'll break into two groups. Cole, go with McCann. Me and Crispy will handle the copter bay. Let's roll. We gotta search the shooting range area. Look for anyone suspicious. Alright, so the game puts us on our first objective is to go find the saboteur. That guy will run. And this is intentional. This allows you to come over here. Oh, can't scan it yet. Alright, so I'll come back for that. Looks like the game wants me to take out the saboteur first. So we'll oh, go and do take that. Point. Come on, Cole. Get back to the shooting range. Ramirez, man down. I repeat, we have a man down. We're in pursuit. Over. Grenade! Occasionally, that guy will uh, drop. Uh, I'll circle around. You follow. We'll catch him in a crossfire. He will drop a grenade for you, but it's random. So now this guy will shoot at us. He'll blow something up there. Yep. And now we are safe to uh, engage. I am on the hard difficulty, so I will be taking a little bit of extra caution here. laptop yet, which is fine. We'll wait for him to get over where he needs to be. I shouldn't be by that thing too often, but... Man, what is going on? Government's gotta be in way over their heads here. This is some scary biotech. Captain, Cole got the guy, and we're coming in. We'll send a team to recover the body. Don't bother. There's nothing here. I'll explain when I get there. Out. At least we protected that truck he was after. Wonder what it's carrying that's so important. Keep note of that truck. It will be important later. But okay, so now the saboteur is gone. Oh, and you know what? I know why I can't scan anything, because I've already scanned it. So, actually, in that case, I will point out some of the stuff that you would have been able to scan. I should have actually started this from zero, so... Let me see, what's my profile set to? Yeah, I'm on hard. And I'm on my continued uh, save. So there's that's the reason why you can't see these, but I will point these out as we go along. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more tricky for me to find them because it's not going to let me scan them now, but that's okay. So, 
that's one of the scannable objects. Uh, this tube is a scannable object. And let's see. So let's go back here. There's actually a hidden one Time to go. that you wouldn't know let's was here go, go. unless you came back. So before this was closed off, you wouldn't be able to get back here. But after you've killed the saboteur, you're able to get back here. You are introduced to this guy. <laughs> Poor dude. Uh, and you could actually scan him and you unlock the detail uh, and I'm probably not able to view them without going all the way back but yes you would learn uh, this actually unlocks the easter egg for uh, the information regarding the health files in the game time to go let's go go so now with that let's uh, appease Ramirez and get our butts moving so I'm gonna quickly so in this game you can side shuffle faster than you can do faster than walking forward you simply walk sideways and you'll go faster hilarious but in, but in, but informative Colonel Bate, please report to the Colonel Bate, please report to the and that's basically all of the Easter eggs for Time to go. Let's go, go. for the beginning of the game so and don't forget about this one because that is a good secret as well. And of course, if you wanted to, uh, you could have blown this up, and you could have caused this to fall down preemptively uh, if you wanted to earlier in the game. So now next we'll go up, the elevator is repaired, so we will begin our descent into the base. Good work, Cole. I'm glad you're part of the team. Ken, we sent a team to recover whatever was left of the body. You'll have to tell me more about it on the way down. Okay, men. The elevator should be fixed. Let's move out. And Bridges has some uh, cool commentary you can actually get him to do uh, if you start scanning him. So, I'll wait for him to move for a second. Uh, these guys don't do anything. You can scan them all you want. They won't They won't uh, interact. Oh, but Bridge will. Elevator. Bridges will. Stow that scanner, soldier. Recall ordering you to scan me, soldier. <laughs> Have to give it him a second. You've got more important business, Cole. Yep. And he has one more line. That's it. Drop and give me twenty, soldier. Aye, aye, Bridges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever. <laughs> yep. Cole, uh, that's... get in the elevator. Yep. And that's basically it for this entire zone. Uh, there's nothing more else you can explore, so the only thing left to do is to descend. Okay, Bob. We lost contact with the past team Delta 16 hours ago. Make up with them and report your stats. Godspeed, gentlemen. We're counting on you. We hope you enjoy your stay at Area 51, America's foremost covert government resort and spa. Crispy, shut the hell up. As we descended into the base, I realized just how large it was. Everywhere we looked, we saw secrets. Spy planes, banned weapons, and a lot of scared people. The virus was designed to hide in its host. Those infected began to mutate in four hours. But they lost in humanity, they gained in strength. The command staff thought they'd responded fast enough. That the protocols had worked. That the virus was contained. The government had no choice but to respond with extreme measures. When we finally arrived, it was almost with a sense of relief to start the mission, to do something, anything, it meant an opportunity to forget what we just witnessed. The scientists who work at Dreamland are rumored to be some of the most brilliant minds in the world. They must have seen everything. Hell, they probably created everything. And yet they're terrified of what's beyond those doors. The doors I'm about to open. Lucky me. Lucky me indeed. 
So this is where we're introduced to kind of like the team play here. This is the first level. Where we're still equipped with pistols, but we get introduced to grenades. You has team Bravo. Affirmative. What's the situation? They keep charging us. We're barely holding on here. We have orders to pass through here and link up with our Delta team. He's coming! Covering position! Where are they will? Shit! shot at us. He was actually supposed to uh, spawn when we actually came around this corner, which is interesting. So he spawned a little bit earlier than expected. Um, in this point, uh, it's random. He could have dropped an SMG and you could have gotten it. What was that? You've, you've got to help me. Let me out. Come on. Come on. No fucking way. <laughs> As a kid, that scene gave me nightmares. <laughs> no contact. There's your first foray into mutation and what happens to the people who are infected by the, by the uh, mutagen. So I slowly run out of them. So now we defend this one. So we have stories around the bottom of this. Uh, we'll pick up an SMG. There we go. So now we got two. I'm gonna keep going pistols for the moment. Over there! Just let come up with guns. So here is your secret, if you haven't scanned it already. So that's the first secret in this level. Um, I will document where the others are, but that is the first one to keep note of. The second one is above on this platform, but we'll get to that later. So now, uh, they do reference some easter eggs to the original Area 51 game. They have the little arcade cabinet here, and you can definitely tell this was a 2005 game. <laughs> but alright, so we come through here. And we're now in a dark office. Now, the moment we start, we get flooded immediately. Because of the sheer amount of this fight, I will switch to my SFG here. So we we'll get There we go. And those guys will only come out if you go this way. So, and that basically finishes uh, the engagement for that part. And as you can see, I've already expended all the ammo from my dual SMG, so I'm down to just one again. And as we can hear, there is a mutant somewhere in here. He is right over here, actually. And now he's dead. No 
Visible contact. Uh, if you didn't have grenades, you could pick them up here. Get some pistol ammo. And this would be another thing that you could scan. You got the game would expect you to scan. Hey Cole, grab a scan of that body. As referenced. Secure. So the game would have you scan it so you would unlock the information for it. And this just basically tells you about the mutagen. Basically, uh, health if you needed it, if you took any damage within the last two engagements. And now, this part, I'm going to get hurt. <laughs> so. And now we also have some engagement. All the kills what you guys doing over there so and then here is that secret i was talking about when i was down there so and that should be a majority of the secrets uh for that part of the game they've unlocked the door firefight here of the blueprints, you should be able to reach it through an access point at the base of the room. Okay, McCann. You and Cole just volunteered. Find a way to bring the power back up. We're on it. Cole, with me. So now, uh, so when I went under there, that's where your next secret is. There's basically nothing over here. It's just kind of an open spot. Uh, the firefights will engage for your teammates. They're going to do their thing. You in the can go to the power back on. We ascend the stairs. You can engage uh, with the enemy on the other side. It's uh, not required. You, uh, you can basically skip this if you want, or you can have fun with it. Uh, they will basically just keep spawning, so there is no benefit to you shooting them from here. Okay, got it. Found the generator room. We'll have it up in no time. And now we go in. We get the power turned back on. Now they have made this an obstacle course for you. This I think I've got control of it from here. Cole, find the control system for the power. It should be up on that catwalk. Yep. It should be up on the catwalk. So first you're introduced to this. So you see, oh, you're like, oh, I don't want to do that. But you cannot use this way because it is blocked off. And in this version of the game. Uh, touching that is instant death. So, what do you do? Well, you time this right. So, we'll wait for the two sets to come back. There we go. And now we fly with it. And jump right at that very end, just so you avoid the shock. We get across. McCann will reset on, the grid. Resetting power now. Turn the generator back on. We'll do our go. Captain, McCann here. The power is up and we're heading back. And there is a secret you can scan in here. It is actually down here. So, if you missed it, it's uh, right here. So, you'd be able to scan that. So basically, once you've done that, once you've reactivated power, you're essentially in the clear. Uh, this whole zone becomes available. Run over here, do whatever you want. And you can see what's over here. Climb this ladder. Really, not much, not much around. So now the moment we get.
get down, we will lose our first teammate. the unfortunate end of McCann. So then we just do that. Command! McCann is down! Request permission to evac! Captain, you must proceed with your objective! That's bullshit! McCann's dead! Did you miss that part? Crispy! Your insertion point has been overrun. There is no going back. You need to keep moving. Roger that, Command. Bravo! What Out. the hell? We're leaving McCann? Crispy, we don't have a choice. We need to keep moving. The quicker we do this, the sooner we're all out of here. Stay focused. And we will be engaged Take in yet another firefight. Hold them off! Grenade! Fucking hell! Hold them off! Here you go! I hate leaving McCann behind, but I know we have to move on. If we don't stay focused, we'll become part of the body count. God only knows what the hell that thing was. I grieve for McCann, but I can't help thinking, am I next? Command, this is Bravo. We've hit Blue Sector, awaiting further orders. Bravo, this is Command. Team Delta uploaded a sit rep to the comm center, but the net's down and we can't access it. We need that report. I am transmitting the coordinates to the comm center. If Delta is no longer at that location, retrieve their sit rep and report in. Roger, Command. Bravo out. Okay, team. You heard the Major. Find that comm center. Cover position! Fire at That is kind of a, uh, a detour there. So I'm preemptively picking up his key for access to the secret back room there. Advancing on our position at hallway five. We got seriously outgunned here. Repeat. Back up requested. Cole, the comm center is over there. Scan the computer. We'll cover you. So we have one of two keys. Cole, we can't proceed without that sick rep from Delta. Scan the computer in the comm center. Oh, I know where it is. I thought there was a sca uh, secret in here, but there is All not. All clear, sir. So. Go ahead over here. So here is the second key card. For the so if you didn't go to through that detour, you wouldn't have the secondary key card that would Cole, open this door. We need to find the location of Delta. But you can open this door. What the? I came from behind me. The game is showing its age a little bit, I guess. Uh, but yep, so here we go. So now we have successfully acquired our first shotgun. And if uh, RNG was uh, particularly nice to you, you'd actually have equipped your double shotgun at this time. There's also a secret to scan up here, if you haven't scanned it already. So, uh, some other secret. Now, we've got our 
dark gun. And now we can proceed to download the sit rep. Oh, hurry up! We need to find the location of Delta! Yep, yep, I hear you, Ramirez. Here's the Delta sit rep. Command, this is Bravo. We retrieved Delta's sit rep. Sending now. Bravo! It appears Delta's last intent was to secure the weapons testing facility and hold until relief. Go get him! Command out. Let's get going. We get Delta, and then we extract it. another hazmat crew down here? Yeah, you're headed in the right direction. Team's orders are to secure this area. We'll cover your six. Thanks for the assist. Okay, here we out! specifically designed to target the player at this point. Who's that? And we've got some here, but not many. Move in! Station under full lockdown. All security personnel report to designate. Now your next secret will be right here, so you would hit this fire extinguisher. You will extinguish the fire. And you'll have access to the top secret secret that you would have scanned with your scanner. I, of course, can't scan this because I have already scanned it. Although I just tried to act like I was going to scan it, which is hilarious. But okay. So now we come in here. Look out! Sword man. Firepower is right off the gate. Yep. Take those guys out. All clear! And this is your first introduction to the spiders. I want to take a look at these jars. Go ahead and move it, Crispy! They Wait, are... Sir, I think those are tracks! Annoying Keep enemy. moving, Crispy! Roger that! You don't have to destroy them. But they annoyed me enough. So the game would have you scan those... Uh, those containers. Make your walk through. Touching that will be Take instant positions. death. So Help secure this area! Do be careful. Fuck. The balcony! Watch the balcony! Here's where the game has put us. It has actually brought us right off the edge of where we got our shotgun up there. So we take out the mutants. Are you secure? And there's a guy in here too. And let's I thought see. we were dead. You saved our asses. We owe you one. Okay. Let's keep moving! Cole, let's get a move on! Alright, so I'm gonna switch to my shotgun now because we are going to be... <laughs> and now begins the uh, Plague of Spiders, and the shotgun is the most effective weapon against them because even if they swarm, your shotgun is able to uh, splash damage against them. Well placed in the fire, so we'll have to be That's the end of them. Clear. 
Uh, all lied. clear? I just heard one. Yeah, all clear. Face under full lockdown. All security personnel report to designated ESCON perimeter. I guess that was all of them. Cool. Got an L1 access card. The security station directly across the hall might have some cards. Cole, hustle up and find an access card. I'll cover Crispy. Okay, so now in this part of the game, you are instructed to go find an access card. Pick up some ammo here if you need it for your shotgun. I'm gonna reload here. Now you can either go right across over there, or you can come in through this way, it does not matter, it's a double-ended hallway. Okay, more. More guy. Nope, I guess not, so... I see some mutants moving around in there. This guy's getting eaten. So what we do here... We actually come back here. Now we gotta pick up his arm. But what I'm actually gonna do first is I'm actually gonna come in here, extend further. And so now this introduces you to Where some you? mysterious alien grenades. So now these grenades are really interesting in the fact that they are alien technology completely. So here we go. We pick up his arm, which starts the aliens coming again. Just two of them, not too bad, not too shabby. The shotgun makes uh, quick work of them. Next, put the arm on this one, and uh, gotta love the attention to detail on this, that the game uh, tries to uh, maintain realism as much as possible. The icon that he comes around on that, um, through the glass. Interesting. So, that takes care of those two, and you're basically in the clear. So now you can grab the access code, but what's right is that this is a weapons locker, so you can basically security card come get your here, back here. grab all the weapons, all the things you want. There is a mutant in here. I'm gonna actually let my health. There we go. And so that's basically all that's within this room. So it's a room for you to fill up on basically all the types of ammo that you've acquired throughout the game. So now I should be fully loaded, fully locked and loaded, once again. So then we will make sure we've got everything. Yep. Full lockdown. And so All there's security that. Personnel report the designated SCON perimeter. So now we have the access card that Crispy needs, that security and we card, can go Cole? back to our team. And as you can see, there's nobody down there. But, once we cut across, we will. There will be one more surprise waiting for us. And there he is. Good job, Cole. Pass that on to Crispy. Oh, kick ass. Now we're talking. And now you are put into a timed firefight. Secure. 
I'm always surprised by man's ability to survive even the most hopeless of circumstances. We lost McCann, but we each got stronger to make up for it. If we can hook up with Delta Team, me, Ramirez, and Crispy stand one hell of a chance of making it out of here alive. We've got to find our way through here. Can you show us the best way? The controls are upstairs, but we're not having much luck getting to them. Cole, find your way into that control station and open up that door. Good thing, Ramirez. Get right on that. This is the giant boss fight, or I should say boss fight, but this is the giant fight of the game. That, uh, buffs the member. So this is where the game, the, the gloves come off for the game, and you are basically, you're expected, you know the game now. So it begins. Massive onslaught. Uh, your secret is here, for one of them. Yeah, there's actually multiple in this room, I was trying to put all of them out and I'm going. These are timed engagements, so you only have a certain amount of time to get these done. Uh, you can kind of walk through here, get whatever you want from these rooms. There's a guy right here, somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he still scares me even after all that time. I know he's there too, that's the worst part. Uh, here's your other secret. Um, and I actually, I have to run now and hit this. Alright, because now another wave of mutants is going to come, but we don't want to be on the ground floor when they do. Uh, so basically this is the platform. And the other easter egg you're on here is this one, and this actually was one I actually missed on my first pass through. Um, keep in mind, you cannot advance past this um, and go down there um, and still get this, because if you do, you will you will miss it entirely. So that is one you have to grab as you're coming up here the first time. So then you come over here, you jump into here, and now we have double S, double fist, uh, that are basically really overpowered um, for our character, but it, they are Area perfect. Clear, so we come in here, we are in an onslaught as we are just fighting constantly. Uh, so now we activate the door. No contact, sir. That moves right back again. So now that Easter egg is now off limits to you entirely if you did not get it already. That's now your onslaught. Which you basically just have to kind of sit back here and kind of deal with for a moment. They would need you, but you know, you also need some help too, because you are under onslaught. And they're kind of helping a little bit, but not much. You're basically up here all by yourself. That engine's gonna blow! Clear the room now! Go! Take cover! Move it! Move it! Emergency fire doors are now closing. Evacuate to your predetermined safety location. And no matter how fast you run, you cannot get to that door in time. Two people will be down there waiting for you. You can do it, Cole! Hurry! Done. Come on! I'm not sure that covers it. So now your teammates are trapped inside while you are still outside the door. Son of a bitch! Game. This is actually glitched out a little bit. So in the 
retail version of the game, you actually wouldn't be able to see with inside that room. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see Crispy looking like that. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see Ramirez. Um, this would actually be all cracked and fractured where you couldn't see anything, but you could kind of vaguely point him out. Um, but of course, with the age of the game, uh, we could tell that the, uh, the rendering has uh, aged a little. Not so great. And so Crispy's uh, giving us some commentary. Basically, he's uh, he's trapped in there. He, he's infected at this point. Um, you don't know by what, but um, he's uh, he's unsure if you're even still there. He he knows that you were outside the door, and he, but he knows Ramirez is dead. And so, um, and he has a couple voice lines here. I think he has one more line. Maybe not. So then, uh, once we start heading up into this, he'll start talking to us over the radio. Cole? You there? Cole! If you can hear me, the captain I feel like shit, Cole. Oh, and I'm sorry, I just realized I totally missed that port of dialogue. He was going to say the captain is dead. He knows. And that he, uh, he's not sure what's happening at this point. So then we jump down here. My suit's fucked. I, I gotta get out of this. It's hard to breathe. Call. Help me. And thus, he completes his full mutation. And now he is technically a mini boss in this part of the fight. Uh, not too hard of a boss by mind you, but still plenty of a plenty of a fight if you're not familiar with the zone and the area, because you are basically just dropped down here and you're just basically said, eh, good luck. Um, so here's your top secret secret. If you haven't scanned it, uh, you can do a couple things in this room. Uh, there is a way to actually get up, so you can actually kinda return back up to where you came in. Uh, if you, with some expertly placed, uh, jumps, you can basically grab a shotgun that's up here for you. Um, and you've essentially just came down here, so as you can see, the game kind of dropped you down, but then, uh, it just, I guess it was supposed to be, you were supposed to be able to come down. I would imagine that's how they were originally anticipating that you would come down here, uh, see Crispy, and then, uh, while you got down here, he would transform. But they've changed it so that the moment you jump down, you're basically instantly transported right in front of them. Oh, and as you can see, so here we are on the other side. I don't know why it renders funny, so it, it's supposed to actually render the opposite way. So as you can see, you can't see anything on the other side of the, ro the door here, uh, and that's the fire door where the uh, engine exploded. And you can't see nothing behind it, so that's actually supposed to be how the view is on the other side, but it's supposed to be that way both sides, so not sure what happened there, but the age of the game. We'll blame it on that. Uh, and so as you can see, massive levels of destruction by, we have no clue what it is, but whatever it is, it's got claws, uh, and it is, it is devastating to whatever was in here. Um, so then, that leaves us with the only obvious choice. Uh, we are the last remaining crew member of Has Team Delta, or Has Team Bravo. Command to Has Team Bravo, status report. Uh, this is Cole, sir. Specialist Cole, where's Ramirez? Dead, dead sir. sir. They're all They're dead. All dead. Has Team Bravo, we did not receive your last transmission. Say again. Repeat. Has Team Bravo, we did not receive your last transmission. Please, say again. we begin the rest of the way. McCann, Ramirez, Crispy. We've been on a hundred missions together. They didn't deserve to die like this. No one deserves to die like this. Crispy's is the most dis is the most saddening because he dies by your hand essentially. So now, basically, that's it for the game dialogue. 
You're down in the weapons testing facility of the game of the game. Uh, under siege, of course, by all the mutated personnel that were down here. And they are none too happy for you being down here. eagle-eyed for this. So, uh, your next uh, scan would actually be this. So, uh, this this thing is actually the Easter egg that you would scan instead of it being a uh, one of the top secret dialogues. You actually just scan that. And so, here's the main operations room. We can take a quick glance around, see what's down here. Um, very not much. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Thought I heard something. All Delta and Bravo, please come in. Do you read? If you can read this message, please switch to Dreamland's internal network communication system. Repeat. Please switch to Dreamland's internal network communication system. As Delta to command, we need assistance. Repeat. We need assistance. We're holding up to ten hostiles and have retreated to a defensible location. We need to repeat assistance. I repeat. So we know has Team Delta's alive. We know that for certain. Uh, so they're still down here. So we just continue our way, continue the mission. So. There we go. Usually you would actually just. Uh, Basically, from here, you would walk into that. Um, I want to avoid avoid any health dings as much as possible during this run through. Uh, so basically, uh, so this is where you learn, or this is where you uh, link up with uh, as Team Delta. There they are. Of course, you and them are still under siege, but now they're happy to see you. Holy shit! Another hazmat. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! It's one of ours! It's me, guys! It's me! Fucking A. I'm happy to see a familiar face. <laughs> I'd be happy to see a lot more than one. We got blindsided. Some kind of, uh, creature kept us pinned down here. Creature? That was an alien, Lieutenant. Aliens or not. We need to get those artillery turrets loaded to stop the next one. Here they come again. Cole, stay close. And so now that you've linked up with, uh, Delta, you are now part of their crew, and just like all the other parts of the game, it plays right into a firefight. will not stop, so you're basically just uh, expected to uh, go do this. So you come up here, uh, the cool part is uh, you get more weapons, so you're never uh, too far away from more weapons. Uh, let's see if I can do the let's see if I can glitch in here. So sometimes if you uh, stand here and you actually uh, feed off the side of the door, you can uh, glitch the game and get in there. Uh, before you were supposed to. So essentially, yeah. You would get stuck in there though, so I'd have to reset the whole run. Uh, but yeah, you could side run into that. So that mutant just uh, tried to bang down the doors, was unsuccessful. Upstairs, Cole. Uh, Grab the ammo magazines and load up those turrets. That's what we'll do. So we'll just continue on. It's really cool. Uh, I could ship my. Uh, so basically we'll grab the ammo for the guns, and of course, not without uh, 
mutants noticing. I can use that ammo, Carl. And of course, once again, the uh, the game showing its age. There, this would have been uh, cracked open, but because of uh, continuity errors, we have, uh, some blemishes, but not too bad. Overall, it holds up pretty well, even after all these. So now we come down here. Load up the ammo. It's on both the left and right side. And so it has Team Delta. And give you a little bit of a reprieve. i trying to deal with all the enemies that we're going to be able to play. So if you're 
you're unfamiliar with this part of the game, this this is actually one of the harder parts of the game to get used to because there is no guidance here. You're not really told where you're supposed to go, uh, except for that. And um, actually, here I'll demonstrate. Uh, so basically, if you didn't know what you were doing, uh, you basically said, "Oh, hey, I've got to get over there." But how do you get over there? Uh, the game directs you. It kind of says, "Hey, look, uh, know where you go. It's all blocked." So you kind of have to explore around a little bit. But you take the right, you go this way, you come up onto the catwalks, and um, this is where the uh, spawners for the spiders are. Basically, you come around here. Um, so now what we've done is we've gotten, we've come around. So now we jump down here because we're basically. Oh nope, I uh, did a mistake. Trying to commentate and do this at the same time, and I got distracted. So we go all the way over here, actually. So we come over here, we drop down in here. Now we're on the other side. So now we come through here. A mutant will meet us. He is immediately dispatched. Um, and then my favorite thing is, even though we could run right through there, I actually like coming up here because it gives us a little bit more of an opportunity to protect ourselves uh, rather than if we went through the door directly. Uh, and also, you get the chance to come up here, uh, basically explore uh, for the moment. Uh, there's actually uh, an easter egg over there that you can get. Uh, the way to do that is basically jump over here. Uh, and you keep jumping until you get over here. And then you can scan these CDs and they will unlock the easter egg for you. And who shot me? There is somebody in here and he shot at me. Oh! Oh, the game is definitely showing its age. That's not good. <laughs> that, that was not supposed to happen. They are shooting through the wall. Uh, whoopsie. Uh, but yeah, so you can basically you scan these um, CDs and you'll unlock your secret there. So then I'm going to drop down here. Back up. And so essentially what I like to do is I like to jump right onto these missiles here because these are conveniently placed where uh, you can basically grab the weapon, grab the explosives you need and get right back up here. And you're in a spot where uh, none of the mutants, none of the spiders will basically give you grief. Leave. So. Okay. Now to set that explosive. Follow me. Yep. This giant wall. Cool. Give me the explosive and hop into that turret. And now we get to play. Alright Cole, get ready, while I set the explosives. So Chu will put the explosives on the wall. Meanwhile, we will be under onslaught. All the while, uh, the game equips you with the second turn here. Okay Cole, take aim and shoot the explosives. What you doing, Chu? <laughs> so, and basically just one well-placed punch. Second onslaught begins. As, uh, but this time you're in control of the turret and you can basically start attacking at will.
that is the end. Let's go! Now or never! Now's good! Call! Get your ass moving! I'm moving, I'm moving. Did you just see all the main Rock buildings I killed? Let's move it! And, uh, let's see, do I, do I leave myself anything? Uh, not really. The assumption is that the guy shooting with the pistol was you. What the hell was that thing? I don't know, but it could have been the same thing that killed my team. We better get out of here. with this place. Command, this is Has Team Delta. Come in. Has Team Delta, this is Command. Go ahead. My team is dead. Cole and I are headed topside. Better death. Is there such a thing? I have to be hallucinating. Madness must be a side effect of the virus. I know this much. Chu is dead. But as long as I'm still breathing, there's nothing else but to follow that voice. And so at this point in the game, we are mutated. We have become one of them. <laughs> All sorts of new stuff for us to do. So, first thing we gotta do take out the enemies. So essentially, we're introduced to our primary attacks, which is a melee, which is a very swift uh, attack, which essentially kills them instantly. Uh, one hit will knock them out. Uh, these guys will come down the wall and basically just try to take them out as you do. And you can watch, they will basically keep coming. You can kill them on the wall as they're coming down. Just 
makes it a little bit quicker. And let's see. Am I gonna get one more or is it gonna be? Yep, here he goes. This guy jumps down. I mean, we're basically having a duke right now. There we go. Alright. So, we're still in the spot where we fell in, but now we can go upward. During this part of the level, there is no secrets for you to scan because, of course, at this moment in time, you can't switch any weapons. Uh, you are mutated. So, no secrets to be found here. But, uh, there's health if you need it, uh, and anything else. And so, with that, we will just go on our merry way. Now there's two ways for you to go. You can go just uh, to the right or to the left. It does not matter. Uh, if you go to the left, some interesting stuff happens. So you actually have to be flying right at you. And we quickly dispatch him with ease. Uh, you can basically come in here and you can basically see it's just a spot where he was hiding. Uh, there's nothing else back there. And then there is one place where you can actually push up. If you did take damage from that surprise attack, you have health again. So the game is very forgiving with health packs, as you can see. Uh, we're basically trying to get down there. That's where we're going. Um, um, he just kind of distracts you there because the moment you get here, he jumps out. So you're instantly distracted about what you were doing. So you come down here. And... That was one of the coolest things I thought about this game was how they, um, their dedication to the game engine, everything that they did, they allowed themselves to manipulate the, uh, the uh, ragdoll in such a way that it was just so well executed to the point of you felt, uh, it, it, it felt very compelling. Uh, so basically, uh, he, he follows you along as you're going. So as we continue proceeding through here. And that poor guy was more scared of us than he was scared of the Black Ops agent because he knew we were infected and we were most likely going to kill him anyways. He was red on our screen, so could have killed him, but we didn't have to. Essentially, uh, yep. So there's not much you can do uh, in your mutated state at this moment, so you're basically forced to just kind of continue on the progression. So we will go across here, and we will get into the. Essentially, take out the enemies that are on our path. There we go. See, there's a camera in here. We're being monitored at this point. Uh, you can take out the camera. Uh, I think you have to be, uh, yep, you have to have your uh, weapon back. So I'm just gonna get right into the chamber. Oh, and uh, of course, find your secrets. Scanning. Mutagen detected. Extracting me. Unable to complete extraction. Quarantine specimen immediately. And so essentially, we've been partially decontaminated. We haven't been fully decontaminated, but we are back as a human, and we are able to do our go back onto our scanning. So you can scan that, uh, get your Easter eggs. Um, and so now we are granted the ability to switch between human and mutant by pressing X. As a mutant, we have superhuman strength, we're 
uh, we have a couple of benefits for us. Of course, obviously, um, all the weapons that we have um, as a human are as equally powerful, if not more powerful. Um, but it is very fun to uh, play around in the mutant phase of the game. Uh, in, in a couple cases. Um, I will probably demonstrate that unintentionally as I'm going. But uh, so now we're decontaminated partially, and now we will be introduced to Dr. Gray. Ah, a survivor. Interesting. I am Dr. Gray, head of the Bioweapons Division. I see you carry the virus. Do you feel your lungs burning? You need to come to me, quickly. Yes, sir, Dr. Cray. So he wants us to come to him. And uh, so now the cool part is, so now that we're alive, um, oh, there is one more. Uh, so here's one more secret, so you very well could miss it as you're walking through. There are some black ops waiting for us at the end of the hallway. They are, they are aggressive right now. Okay. Let's see what I can do about that. Alright. So. As we can see, so now that door will open at the other side. Um, so the interesting thing to note about this part of the game is you're gonna want to be well well equipped on your health because if you're playing this on hard difficulty this is going to get very hard very fast so one of the things to note for this part of the game uh, essentially if you kill all the black ops who come down the end of the hallway they are set to automatically respawn constantly so one of the things you can do to uh, kind of give yourself a boost is actually funny enough mutate yourself and uh, so as I said, you can kind of do a shimmy shuffle down. Uh, sideways walking is faster, so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to do these now. These will actually replenish your health as you go. Of course, that guy survives. Not for long. And essentially, just by me doing it like that, I've avoided a whole lot of work. Um, otherwise, if you killed all of them uh, as you were on the way through, and you didn't walk through that door first, um, essentially the game would continue respawning Black Ops agents until you got to the door. Um, so I've just basically bypassed and shut down that spawn. Your service is no, over. You can't do this. I don't want to die. What have we done? Somebody help. Please, we'll do anything. Somebody, anybody, help. Why are you doing this? Fuck this. I never got to see Ferris. I've got two children! My wife, my child, please no! Damn you, damn you all to hell! What will become of our work? My wife, my wife, my wife! Dear God, please help us! And that is the sounds of the unfortunate scientists who have been corralled and essentially uh, held hostage. And because the Black Ops agents know we're coming, uh, they don't want to leave any survivors. They are unfortunately Remote killed. Witnesses. And the game gives us no opportunity to attempt to save them, unfortunately. Of course, now the agents know we are very much aware of their presence, and the game goes, yep, time to kill them. And that's all. So the unfortunates. Uh, here's your other secret hidden on the floor. Um, essentially, we grab this guy's clearance card. Um, sorry, man. And uh, yep, that can't be opened. So essentially, that's that's basically all that this part is for. So you grab your security code. Uh, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get into the elevator. And Dr. Gray is going to give us some more information. You must take care. The infection can take you over. The antitoxin has only provided you with temporary comfort. As your condition deteriorates, 
you will lose control of your humanity. So hurry, Mr. Cole, if you want to live. And living sounds good. <laughs> oh. So essentially. And he's looking right at me. He's, he's not even caring to suspect that, you know, I'm breaking the door away. Guys out and now, and you just kind of want to quickly get out of here because the, the same thing with these guys, um, just like the Black Ops people, they're on a timer, they will just keep spawning no matter what. The mutation takes hold, I hunger to consume my enemies. They become nothing but fuel for me. I try not to use its power, but I must. If I am to choose between mutation and death, the choice becomes increasingly clear. And essentially, you, you can use the mutation as long as you want. It doesn't actually hurt you, but... For the plot of the story, it's nice to keep yourself uh, as a human as much as possible. We see the Black Ops do not like those guys either. Just like we don't, they don't either. But, uh, they're, they're hatred for us is just as equally, uh, assaultable. So that takes those guys out. Essentially, we have to get those guys in that hallway. And uh, once again, the easiest way to do that is to kind of let them shoot you too much, but do your sidestep, walk, as it gives you the most uh, speed for your for the walk. And you come over here. Uh, this is another secret, so you'd be able to scan this. Now we can basically walk through there. Um, nowhere we can really go. But onward. And now we are introduced to the Illuminati. Hmm. The latter stages of the virus makes the subject more agile and aggressive. A perfect tool for spreading the infection. But that doesn't last long. Long enough to spread the virus. The cycle then continues through its contagious corpse. A breeder of yet more virus spreading children. They're basically talking about the leper there. So the thing that we... The mutants that we've been killing. Those uh, wild feral things. Uh, they're basically able to spread the virus. Um, that is their goal, that is their job. Um, it is all part of uh, the guy down there. His name is Mr. White. He has actually cloned himself many times over. Um, and he basically does all this work down here. So uh, he's responsible for basically uh, the pact that created the virus that the game uh, revolves around in the first place. It is through uh, their cooperation with the alien named Edgar uh, that all of this is taking place in the first place. And uh, once I walk through the door, they realize I'm in here, and they'll basically be like, Oh yeah, you're not supposed to be down here. Someone from topside. No matter. Our soldiers will take care of you. But he's been infected. Even better. Yes. Even better. Should our guest have some company. Yes. How appropriate. And so essentially now, uh, those guys teleport out because they realize they're in danger. They don't want to die. Uh, leaving us to deal with these guys. Which we will just make quick work of. Some before they're even allowed. 
allowed to escape out of their cage. Oh. So of course the game wants you to scan this no matter what. And so we can basically kind of see uh, not much available to us. And if you're feeling uh, particularly evil, you can uh, torture the leper uh, a handful of times until he eventually bursts into flames. Although, when you were standing up on the observation platform, he was repeatedly getting shocked to the point of where he wasn't dying. But once you shock him three times, you essentially kill him. It's a pity murder. This guy stayed up, and let's see. Let's see if I can work some magic and uh, land a perfect hit on him. Aha! Take that! So, was able to kill him before he teleported away, but usually if you got up here, uh, he would teleport away before you could kill him. I just wasn't feeling generous. <laughs> so, uh, that, what I just did was I opened the door, uh, which also should have unlocked. Actually, where is that? Uh, actually, I think that's right over here. Yep. So basically, I can hit that button. That will unlock the extra doors here. So now we have access to health, ammo, and over here. I think there is a secret you can scan over here as well. Yep. There is. So if you didn't know how to get to that one, that's how. So there you go. So there's your next top secret. Secret to scan. And we can continue on to Cray. Mr. Cole, the soldiers of the Illuminati are destroying the base, removing the evidence of their existence and the pact they made so long ago. If they destroy the elevator power conduit, you will be unable to reach my lab and receive your cure. Stop them, then find me. So of course Dr. Cray wants you to eliminate the dark forces as quickly as possible. And so we will. So now we have uh, weapons. The leper is up there. And basically... Under attack for a second. Nothing you can't uh, deal with. And as you can see, the game uh, put some intense music for us, but uh, it was short-lived. And I could see his eyes from, from back there, so I knew he was up there. And uh, I love the ragdolling in this game, so you can basically punch this guy right off the edge. Just gonna... Goodbye! Goodbye! Oh, yep, his foot got stuck. Bye! So if you kept that door open, you'd be subject to uh, death. But so, uh, yep. So now, uh, now the hard part is this is a double-phased approach. So uh, you got attackers on both sides of the hallway, so you have to uh, attack with care. Oh, that was not good. I was not expecting to take a grenade. That unexpected development, I now have to find some help. While also taking out those guys at the same time. So, good thing I didn't collect all of the health back there, so I've been able to continue on. Because this is one of the spots where you definitely don't want to be low health um, if you can avoid it. You're going to have a lot of forces to uh, contend with. And there we go. Mr. Cole, you will find the power conduit further down the hallway. 
The forces of the Illuminati are near. You must stop their treachery. So the next phase of the game begins. Guess we do what we've been doing. Just kind of side step up. And now, as we get to the end of the hallway here, the timer begins. Now you now you have no choice. You have to get this done within 40 seconds. Now essentially, take them out. I'm running out of mutagen, so I won't be able to maintain my for long. But just long enough to take them out. And with 20 seconds to spare, I will stop the counter. So that disarms the bomb from blowing up the power conduit, which basically powers the elevators. And so. Like all the other places, here is your secret to scan for this part of the area. And essentially, once you've done that, um, I see there might be something down here, but I'm not sure. Nope, just health. So, no secrets down here, but if you need help from that encounter, you can basically grab it there. And essentially, you're. Moving on, moving on along. Excellent, Mr. Cole. There may yet be hope. Hurry along. My lab is well defended for now. But dark forces are beginning to trouble me. I await your arrival. And at this point, we don't have to worry about anything too crazy coming at us, because we've, uh... Done at this point. Granted. Cray, he dangles a carrot in front of me. Promise of a cure if I save him. He better be for real. This thing I've become, I don't know how much more I can take. Soldiers have blocked your path. Work your way through the maintenance areas and find my lab. The guy just tells us, "Hey, sorry about that. They uh, they stopped you from getting to me." But uh, so if we don't go through the door immediately and we go into the next elevator on the right, find this guy. He's got our card. Or he's got our key. Uh, your secret is also here. So you'll be able to scan that. And so let's head back over here. We will open the key. This will give us, you know, your shotgun if you need ammo. Or if you didn't have the dual shotguns, you now have it again. Uh, grenades if you need them. So the game is pretty forgiving on giving you uh, ammo and whatever else you might need uh, within reason. So now we get to the stairwell here. And one of the first things we're given is the glorious sniper, which is one of my favorite weapons in the game. It has two shots uh, to the chest, will basically take out all the Black Ops forces, or uh, one, sh one well-placed shot to the head. So now what I'll do is I will do precisely that. So, uh, part of the game, uh, the first person you're going to meet, he's right up there. He can shoot you, he is very uh, well hidden back there, so he will. he is a nasty one for sure. And the next one, I believe, is up here on the left. Yep, there he is. And then one more on the right. And he threw a grenade at me, so I was going to quickly 
run in front, so I did, didn't get hit. Or Illuminati Force. I'm just gonna mutate and take him out, because that's gonna be the easiest and fastest way forward. And I'm just gonna quickly do a speed run across here, because I am not feeling like uh, trying to deal with all that. There we go. Reload. Above. Is it above or below? Where is he? Where is he? I hear him, I hear him. Where is he at? There he is. Down there. He's down there. Oh yeah, they're down there. Okay. That takes him out. Any more? Feeling particularly lucky. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I survived! found earlier is actually useful for uh, opening this as well. So if you didn't grab the key before, I don't think you can open this later. So and I think that's what I, I think I made a mistake earlier when I ran through because that's why that wasn't unlockable. So there we go. So I've now unlocked that. And so we can come back up here. And once we do, this door opens more forces. Way. They are seriously not liking the fact that we're down here, so um, we start heading up. It's kind of like a puzzle up here for the most part, but not so terrible. Uh, some more dark forces going after us here. Placing a bomb. Um, so essentially, you take him out. Um, which also takes out the bridge that you were going to use to get across. Um, that, that awakens these guys, so they know that you're you're there now. Um, oh shit! first headshot. I, I've been trying. Alright, so, of course, so this would have been the catwalk you would have just walked across, but because they took it out, we're gonna have to do a detour. So, we come down here. Uh, here. Uh, let's see. But we see that we can't use it yet, so we have to go over and activate it. our favorite friends, the spiders again. And just like that, they are taken care of. Poor, unfortunate. 
fortunate soul has uh, experienced whatever uh, whatever you get to experience uh, touching that. So here we are, we are up here, and there's the key card that we are going to need for access. Um, and of course, because we've done that, we have now just alerted the Illuminati back to the presence again. So we will take those guys out with haste. Um, and once again, of course, uh, here's the other side of that catwalk, so if that hadn't been blown up, you would have just walked over here, grabbed the key card, and gone. But that's too easy. And so I just turned the door open, there's the, uh, there's the Illuminati guy I was waiting for. He's that kind of thing back there. And survive long. So essentially that does that, and as you can probably already hear, we have our spider friends back again, uh, this time with uh, more of them. Uh, it's the same thing, you can basically take the shotgun to them. Um, and then I'll find a one. Because I don't feel like dealing with those guys up at close range. They are quite annoying at close range. So take them out early and often. There is a uh, somebody now with a sniper. There's one. There's the other. Take those both out. And uh, so now we move this. And we actually uh, have to once again go back over. So uh, the game uh, loves to give you a little bit of a back and forth walk around. Uh, while we do that, the Illuminati is going to start uh, pouring in on the other side there. We're gonna want to keep our uh, keep our head down as uh, as they start flooding the room here. Okay. We're going to wait for our transport here to come over. All the while avoiding getting shot by the Illuminati. much up here for you to see or do. Uh, this catwalk is just kind of a blank canvas. So we come up here and um, as we can see I haven't used any of my grenades yet so I'm actually going to get four called JB grenades and, uh, oh, and I've got a guy with a shotgun right in my face so he almost took me out because of how uh, damaging the shotgun is, both to your player and to anybody else. I'm going to quickly look for any health that I could get, because uh, I am low. I don't think there's going to be anything more for me to grab, so I'm just actually going to proceed and hope for the best. Enemy's destructive efforts have been all too effective. The containment tubes have become unstable and must be shut down. Hurry, Mr. Cole. A malfunction would be catastrophic. And so this begins Morning. another Continue countdown. Here, but, but this time a little bit more longer. So 40 seconds you have at least four minutes to complete this. Uh, so they give you some time. Of course, uh, doing this you feel very rushed. Um, one of the things that you will want, uh, one of these guys, one of these containment tubes will be your secret to scan, but you may want to come back, uh, after the three minute run to do that because, uh, it's essentially, uh, you'll be wasting time, uh, scanning it, not, uh, turning off the, turn off the grid down here. 
so essentially you get down here. Um, everybody attacks me at once. Um, use my uh, sniper here. Take everybody out uh, where I can see them. Transport system deactivated. And there we go. Within a minute, we have basically done it. Okay, guys, of course. Get out of here. And there we go. And of course, because you haven't left the uh, room, you can now go back and do your scan uh, without a time penalty on you. Taking out all the uh, annoying people first. Where is he? What the? Where is he? He's in a really good spot because I can't see him. Oh, there he is. I see him. I thought I saw him. Mutagen, so I don't want to sit in a uh, mutated state for too long because the game won't let me either. It will forcefully drop me back to a human state. So, it's this guy. Oh, he's all the way at the bottom. That takes care of him. Okay. So now you're essentially able to explore this zone without any penalty. And you'll want to go over to here and do your scan. And there's one other guy somewhere. Where is he at? So I just have to keep from there. He's down there. Alright. That takes those guys out. So now you're essentially free to explore and do whatever you want. Again. And we have made it. Not too shabby. Constant duel between mutant and human is taking its toll on me. Being a minion of Dr. Cray is getting old, fast. My body aches. I'm losing control. Cray has to have that cure for me. I need control. And so now we can hear the special forces. And this is where we first get to see the combat abilities of Dr. Cray's lab. And so, uh, just a quick pass through down here. Uh, let me just see if there's any secrets for you. I don't think there was back here, but um, I do apologize if I miss any. Um, it is super easy when you have the game telling you, hey, there's a secret nearby, um, but it's not too bad. Yep, so essentially we'll go up here, and as we can see, there's two sets of turrets guarding this door, they have since been taken out. So beyond this door, sits Dr. Cray's secure bunker head, which is 
essentially guards his lab. We'll do him a favor. We'll take out all of the twin forces here. Mr. Cole, hurry inside before reinforcements arrive. And he won't invite us in. And as we can see, uh, these turrets are not blown up, but we are not a hostile force to them, so they are they're happy for us. They uh, they will not attack us. Let's just do a quick uh, let's, uh, head up here, so we can pick up a shotgun if you want it. Uh, I think you can get up here too. Yep. I guess you can kind of play around. Get up there. Oopsie, don't do that. <laughs> to your death. Um, and uh, on one of these, actually it's on the other side here, so what you'll want to do, because this is also a secret you'll want, um, is to try to go up this path, and then uh, you essentially just jump right onto here, and then here's your next secret, right on top of uh, one of the two security checkpoints for the lab. And that covers the secrets for this spot before we get into Cray's lab. So now, without further ado, let's go meet Dr. Cray himself, why shall we? We should proceed with your decontamination immediately. Victor 5, prepare the extraction bay. But, Doctor, specimens are too advanced in their mutation. Victor 5, stop your nonsense and prepare the bay. Do it now. Sorry, yes, uh, extraction bay, do it now. Every failure leads to success. I am optimistic that your altered state will be the variable that history will see. Reinforcements. Now, essentially, we are sent back outside to deal with reinforcements. We can watch and we can see that those turns do go go attacking. So they are doing some work. Uh, we did lose one firefight here, so keep that in mind. Uh, the turrets are powerful, but they are not invincible. We're be, uh, fighting a couple of these guys for a bit. Start raining down mayhem here. Nice. Back inside. Is there any health out here? So I would really like to save the health that's sitting in Dr. Cray's lab for uh, something else, but if not, I can uh, just go take that. Let's see. Yeah, not much else down here, so, yep. Oh, here they are. Nice. So now we've finished up, we've taken out the reinforcements, and now Cray is happy to receive us now. Can your friend handle the dosage level? So, so risky. Do what you are told, Victor Fine. I decide what risks to take. Uh, the doctor decides the risks. Must, must do as told. <laughs> ah, yes, there you are. Please proceed to the biolabs. Sure. And, uh, of course, he's like, uh, Major Bridges. He Excellent doesn't have some boy. dialogue. It will tell you nothing. Um... And uh, you can you can scan him a couple times. Please put away your toys. <laughs> uh, you will find Victor Five in the biolab. He will begin the decontamination process. You are supposed to be helping me and yourself. Yep. I think that was his uh, last dialogue. Please. Yep. I am busy. And so, as you can see, so on his in his lab, he has. Uh, Mutagen and health. Um, what for? Yeah, that's for later. You have very little time before the mutation takes control. Yep. And of course, he's uh, telling us, you know, hey, gotta get moving. And so we can kind of explore around a little bit. You know, really have a 
time crunch on us. So we see there's a uh, something we can open. Here's your next secret for him. And now this locks off, so you can't go back for the moment. You will be allowed to go back in in a moment, but now that you've entered into here, you're here for a bit. So here's your other secret. So collecting a lot of secrets in this level. Um, essentially, can't walk through it, uh, but there's people in here. Uh, same with uh, like Dr. Cray. You can scan them through the glass for whatever reason, but uh, they have no dialogue at all, so they won't they won't uh, engage with you. They don't care. Don't even bother. And then essentially there's nothing really hidden back here. Oh, this and is we bad. meet Victor 5. The mutants are awake. So someone someone should do something. Not safe. Not safe. Uh, I don't think you should go in there. What did the doctors say? You are his friend. You must be scanned. Oh, the doctor wants you scanned. You must go. And so for some context, Dr. Cray was doing experimentations on the mutagen and part of those experiments was well what does it do to people and so uh, here that we get to take out so sorry dr gray had to uh, cut your experiments early more more in the next room Victor Five, what are you doing? This is no time for Charlie antics. Open the lab. Our guest, Mr. Cole, will help. Oh, open the lab. Yes, the guest. And of course, Dr. Cray is, of course, he doesn't care that you're killing his mutants because you are his most valuable test subject, current. But the game doesn't hint on to that. I'm kind of giving you that piece. Uh, so here we are. <laughs> We take those guys out and grab his key. His key is important as uh, this is the guy. His key is the one that you need to unlock the doors or unlock the uh, safes in Dr. Cray's lab. And we can do a quick scan on him. And it's going to just tell us that uh, he's dead. There's no DNA file, so we don't know who it is. But if we had to guess, it was probably Victor 5, but as another clone of himself. Um, what we can do, we can come back to Victor 5 here and we can actually scan him. What happened to your face? Oh, it's just a glass. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, yep, so there we go. It's a clone of Victor Weisenbrod. So he's been cloned many, many times. Who knows how many times. Um, basically, some more mutants. And dispatched with these. Sir, please, we must hurry to the scanner. Yes, scanner is what we need to map the genome of the guest. Messenger RNA transcripts, but without, without the isolated complement. Uh, our guest, yes, the, the scanner. Please step into the scanner. Oh, your health is poor. The doctor will make you better, but the scanner, you must step into the scanner. Yeah. Um, and before we do that, we will just come up here. So, like I said, there is a his that guy's key is important for uh, up, uh, opening some of these up here. Uh, your next secret is up here. We can open both of these. Basically, health and uh, some other stuff. But the scanner must step into the scanner. Of course, he's gonna tell me I need to step in the scanner, so I will. Hold still. One, guide rails locked. Two, mark one, six, five, subsurface. Interesting. The mutation has taken hold of your cell structure quite recently. Your body continues to evolve between mutant and human. Mm -hmm. 
Is this another plan? Scan complete. <sighs> Done. Excellent. Bring that template fluid back to me immediately. Follow me. You take the template fluid to the doctor. Yes, doctor. All right, and so after our scan's complete, we grab that. Um, the door. Yep. And so he'll follow us back. Uh, we're just, I'm just gonna cut ahead here, get right to the door here, and now I'm going to prepare myself. By a protein envelope, unfortunately, but fortunately. Unable to truly replicate without a host. You are the host. Cell, living organism, or no. The main lab, Dr. Okay. We must hurry. He will be angry if not. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have killed Victor 5. Um, and as we can also see, the protective barrier that was protecting the scientists back here is gone. Uh, the special ops agents have killed the scientists as well. Um, we can cut in here. Mm, basically, this is where they came in. And of course, not much else. And we're right back to Dr. Cray's lab. Okay, Mr. Cole, forgive my immobility, but you must take your template fluid into the fluid bay. Once you're done, you can come back here. Yep. Well, we can come over here, open this real quick. That gives us one more JB grenade and a shotgun. So we can drop it down. Put our fluid in. See, the Illuminati are still trying to get to us. Dr. Cray, you have violated the pact. We must hurry. They have returned. You must now surrender your life. There is no escape for you, Dr. Cray. Your security system will not last much longer. They have become smarter than I thought. We should hurry then. Get into the chamber. Computer? Stop the decontamination process. Decontamination commencing. Please authorize bioanalysis. Dr. Winston Cray, 440326. Analysis proceeding. Subject is bisected. I cannot guarantee a quick death. I'm mildly flattered at the attention you afford me. But I know my life is done. Uncharacteristically humble, Doctor. Humble? My mark has been made, and even you cannot wipe the effects of its legacy. Don't be afraid, Mr. Gold. We must bring him to a new taken state before you can be fully healed. Stage two complete. So now with this, we have unlocked a more powerful contagion. Cannot complete process. A power surge has compromised the system. Decontamination avoided. Unfortunately, they have killed Dr. Cray, and they are now coming for us. So after quickly dispatching them and taking them out, we can now take the vials, the stuff, and unfortunately that is the end of Dr. Cray. We have not been fully decontaminated, so we still maintain the ability to switch between human and mutant. Dr. Cray was never a perfect specimen, flawed at best. The human elite will have their weapon. 
You must find me and continue what is to be undone. Are you worth my time? And now, pretty much from here on out, we start descending into the uh, deeper, more conspiracy sides of the base. I think I understand Dr. Cray's fascination with me. He was looking to master the link between human and alien DNA. But he never came close until the infection inside me. For some reason, the mutagen reacts differently. It's evolved further than even he imagined it could. And so that kind of is why Dr. Cray was doing what he was doing. He wanted to... Cole, we are experiencing interference with the command system. We have intermittent contact with base security elements. Link up with them in the weapons lab. I repeat, Cole, the command system is being jammed. Link up with base personnel in the weapons lab. His goal was essentially to just kinda do what he was doing. The contagion that discharges from your body, it seeks life. Its purpose, to infect the next host. The chain of death prevails. And uh, so essentially, uh, Edgar is talking to us through these dead, deceased bodies. And uh, so now uh, the next secret you would scan is, I think, these blueprints. Uh, once again, I apologize. I have already kind of scanned everything. So we're just kind of going through again. And we can see some uh, some of the monsters that uh, are awaiting us in the room. So we can see a leper over there. Uh, what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna take a head and use that to our advantage. Retinal scan complete. Access granted. Basically nothing down here. Um, and now of course we are in the spot where these guys are gonna come out. Take them out with haste. And we can essentially descend down here. Be careful not to chop my head off with the laser. Come over here. And there's two uh, doors we can open. So the first one we'll hit is the laser. And that opens the pathway for the next part of the game. But I'm going to open this door as well. Um, grab whatever we can from within here. And I think... Nope, no secrets to be found on that spot. So... Good on that front. Uh, oh, uh, this guy would be a secret for you to scan. Uh, basically, tells you, informs you about the uh, the laser testing that they had going on in the base. As you can hear our spider friends are back. gone and right back here hidden away tucked away is the next secret I'm just gonna make sure all my weapons are properly reloaded before I venture out because we will have dark forces to attend to guys, these little floaty balls would be your next secret to scan. Uh, essentially they are unknown alien life forms, if I recall the uh, thing correctly. They, uh, but it does say alien research lab. So we are now descending into the part of the base where uh, the hush hush uh, alien secrets, uh, these grenades are basically alien. Everything as we continue going is getting more and more foreign. 
the weapons are changing and uh, what we see begins to uh, begins to change. yet, so we just have to keep uh, moseying on along. This is pretty cool, so you can see uh, different views of a camera in here. Uh, not really much much use to us, but um, we can see that uh, some of the cameras in the game, like the ones we were seeing back in the decontamination lab, uh, are feeds to certain cameras. Uh, we can see more lepers running across. and the death of this poor scientist over here as we get closer to him. And nothing we could do to save him. The game was basically going to kill him anyways. And now I've got a problem. Ooh, that was close. Yep, there we go. Alright, so then the next thing we got to do... Uh, so right now, the anti-gravity in that room has been turned off. We want to turn that back on. The game has us do a little bit of parkour here. Drop just a little bit. There and there we go. So we made it up here. And we want to go over here. Grab the security access card. Uh, but when we do. the two cameras that we were looking at before. So now we jump down here. Our spider friends are not too far behind. Alright, so now we've gotten up onto the catwalk where we are now able to acquire this fancy weapon. Now this is a cool weapon because what this does is you can shoot it Essentially, hurts them twice. And the cool part about this weapon is this is a very alien weapon in the fact that there isn't ammo. You don't grab ammo. It actually uses the air to, uh, it looks like it uses the air to uh, produce the energy beams that kill your enemies. So there's no ammo for you to pick up with this weapon. Uh, the other cool part is the secondary part of this weapon is the laser. Uh, this essentially allows you to target your enemies without actually having to be able to see them. And the cool part is you can ricochet these off the wall and get to where you need to. And I'll uh, demonstrate that in a bit here. So Let's see if I can find uh, somebody in the room real quick. Yep, there's a couple of them right now. So it turns red when you've got an enemy in your target. Uh, let's see. He's gonna start coming down the stairs. Nope. He's right there. Take those guys out. 
and now essentially what we can do. Weapon not charged. We have to charge the weapon. So we come up to the top here. Weapon fusion charging. So here's a uh, alien made weapon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire that baby. Firing sequence. So we can see the moment we start firing it, it drops down that shield. Um, the cool part is, uh, you can take advantage of the fact that you have this weapon available to you uh, for at least three shots. So uh, you can basically fire it again. It will actually help you take out those guys uh, who are in need of uh, some ammo. Secret, if you were curious where that one was. Cut across. And of course, as we get across, the uh, the Dark Forces see us, and we're just gonna ignore those guys, because uh, they're not really important. So we come in here, and immediately we have an onslaught of spiders. But they're not terrible. McCann had a theory about everything. What would he say about the horrors that surround me? The horror I have become. I have come this far, and I can see the beginning of the end. But whose end will it be? Codes, they're automatically changed at a level four lockdown. Clearly, these, these guys mean business. And so, part of what I was mentioning earlier, I can open this door, and I don't really want to head down there. I just kind of want to take a peek around for them. I think I might be in a spot where I can't get to them. What I can do use this to my advantage. So there we go, I can see this would bounce and ricochet up to him. Take him out. Same with that guy. If I couldn't see where he was, you know, I can. There we go. You must find the backup comm station at the base of the stairwell. It's our only link topside. Go get help. Tell him that if you're looking for that. Now, they are on the other ledge there. Just kind of take them out. secret to scan. I'm basically telling you, hey, got alien stuff here. Take those guys out. 
And technically the laser would have taken him out too, but that's okay. So here's that weapon again. But this time we used it to, uh, to our advantage to get up here. So obvious. Your signal is weak, but we see your position is close to the objective. Keep going and get that comm station operational. We need to know what's going on down there. Bridges, out.
McCann talked about cover-ups, but I always thought the government was too inept for hoaxes this complex. In this den of lies, will I ever find the truth? Does it matter? It all seems so pointless now. So now we have descended further and further into the base. And I see there's another secret down here that I have not captured yet. Let's take a quick run around the room and see if I find it. There it is. The Echelon Network. Neat. And of course, uh, once I finish the game, I will go back and play um, all of the secrets that we found so that we have it all within one video. So, here we are. Uh, for the moment, all the doors are locked, but the moment I open this, uh, they will start coming through the door. Oh, this is my favorite part. Electron volts are up. Atom reflection is... is where it needs to be. Asling. It should work. Let's review. The hydrogen atom, consisting of a positively charged proton, transfers through this gate. Its orbiting electron, equal but negatively charged, forms the neutrally charged atom. Note to self, don't touch the forward shield member. It heats up. Hmm, not stable at all. Must think about a solution to the forward shield. Perhaps a grounding sink will do. You. Yes, you. Does this feel hot? Hmm. Interesting. Tell me. Was that a hot sensation? Or a cold sensation? Tell the truth. I don't believe it was cold. Are you sure? That doesn't sound right. Try it again. Yes? Correction. It was hot. Good. That's more like it. All right. Let's start testing with the primary subject. The cow. It's one of my favorite lines just because it's like, Hey, by the you. Go touch this real quick. <laughs> so, you could take him out and, yeah, if you hadn't collected this weapon, um, basically, uh, right there off the catwalk, uh, in the, in the previous section, you would get it here. Shotguns, health, if you need them. Uh, no secrets back here, I don't think. And this is this is fun. Uh, so some of the stuff with the lock, you feel like you should be able to open, but not this one. So, and then uh, one of my favorite pieces here is so there's a group of agents running down this elevator and you can just kind of let them walk by real quick without triggering them so they won't shoot at you but what you can do you can take them out <laughs> I don't know what happened man it was a freak accident they just kind of fell totally not totally nothing I did <laughs> and uh, so essentially uh, but uh, once you do that, uh, the game basically begins. So uh, now you've got the aware of your presence and it's time to uh, start taking stuff out. Where is he? That's okay. I'll keep moving downward. There he is. That takes care of three out of the four jammers. Uh, the last remaining jammer is actually at the very top, where you can't see it. So you actually have to come all the way down here. And do it there. And we should.
should start seeing uh, rather shortly here the uh, cloaking version of these. Uh, Yep. And so now, now that we've uh, triggered that, we can. We are now permitted to go upward. Oh, there's the guy. So these are the special cloaking units that are slightly harder to find, um, but in mutant vision they are very easy to see. So I will use that to my advantage as we're running up the stairs here. Uh, I don't think we're going to encounter any resistance as we go up though. So I think we're good on that front. Basically fine uh, until we get back to the top here. with the machinery of deception. It's this deceit that might draw our last breath. The vision of the infected can help you see things unseen. And so essentially that's just him telling you, oh hey, by the way, these guys are invisible. Which, as we've seen. So, I'll switch to mutant vision, and we can see. There they are. They go to switch, and that's how they look when they're cloaked, but we can still see them. And now we phase into the next part of the game. Took a little bit more damage than I anticipated, but that's okay. Now we see some interesting pieces of equipment down here. Uh, 
shotgun if you want it. Already basically fully fully loaded on everything, so I probably don't need it. Um, don't remember if there's anything else. So we can see uh, bits of a lander, uh, some rovers, some interesting stuff down here, and then on air. And uh, oh, here we are. So here's the other spot. Uh, so here's here would your secret be. Uh, along with, uh, if you want, a uh, grenade, mutagen, all hidden in here. And we just seen him poke his head out, and it uh, was not in his favor. And then this is another uh, cute thing of the game where it's just like poking fun at all the conspiracy theories that you could possibly do for Area 51. It's a very nice touch. It's subtle. the uh, leg of the mission, we actually want to collect batteries, because we're going to need them to get the lander to move. Uh, but as we collect batteries, uh, more enemies are going to spawn to try to take us out. And of course they're using the same weapon as I am, so it's uh, equally matched. Alright, so then the next uh, one is, uh, I think, on a rover somewhere. Let's see. We have a landing I might have grabbed the one on the rover already. Uh, nope, where is it? There's two batteries. We got one. Maybe it was over here. first. Oh, and then funny Easter egg here. You can shoot the earth, and it kind of does one of those. <laughs> uh, but there's actually a hidden room back behind that. You just can't see it off of the backdrop here. Yeah. Hey, can't really see it regardless. I, I'll have to be up on the catwalk there to see it. And we are just a short wave away from that. We put the stuff there. We're gonna come out from there. You have a better aim than I do. <laughs> Launch the lander. And that's essentially that. Of course, now that we've done that, we have to walk into the guys that set up on the catwalk. Here would be a secret for you to scan as well. Uh, where we're at, I'm not sure. Let's see. It's back here. Oh, so here, there's that spot where uh, the hidden sp uh, storage behind the earth that I knocked out. Uh, not really going to need anything from within there because it's mostly health and uh, JB grenades, which I am fully maxed out on. 
So not needed on my front. We're about 15 seconds to reacquiring the spacecraft Endeavour and Falcon on the 11th revolution of the moon. Stand by. Essentially, uh, health, anything you might need up here. Oopsie, oopsie. Ah, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Apollo 15. Houston, standing by. Alright, well now I'm gonna need that health. <laughs> Repeat. Apollo 15. Houston, standing by. Alright. Let's see, anything else over here? Grenades. That's about it. So you can jump over here. Ready to go. Of course, yep. There they are. to survive has been unfortunate. Dr. Cray betrayed us and released the weapon. But it will not stop us from completing the pact. You will not be leaving this facility alive. And so, uh, of course, as he says that, we are quickly ambushed by two of their forces again. Oh, three of their forces. Uh-oh, I have a bad spot. Very, very close. Alright. So, yep, that takes them out. Um, there's pretty much nothing you can get over there. So, we go. They think they can fool us with our consequence. This new world order. My mind grows clearer. I know what needs to be done. It's time for a new reality. And so now we have descended much, much, much further into the base. And one of the first things you can actually do believe is get behind here and this is a hidden secret that you wouldn't necessarily know was here unless you played it a couple times this actually was one of the last secrets i ever found um completing the game i was like wait there's actually something back here oh you can actually jump back here uh that was a fun time to figure that one out and let's talk to edgar again Your caution is correct. The dark forces have begun to gather. The countdown to ascension has begun. Soon the pact will birth its unholy child. Alrighty then. No oh, thank you. <laughs> And so now, here are those little aliens we saw in that little room before. They are just like the... They are like a more advanced version of the spider. Except they uh, they die just as uh, easily with the shotgun. The shotgun is the most preferred approach when attacking those guys. Because they are... Any other weapon uh, doesn't work as well. This is gonna just be a cutscene with no, uh, no dialogue. Just gonna show us, uh, what the turrets can do.
They take no prisoners. They're just like, you are double dead. You are triple dead. You are absolutely dead. <laughs> so, our goal is to take those out as quickly as possible. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, there goes my uh, almost perfect run. But that's okay. I didn't get too terribly far. There. They're already a little bit on me. Already. Save, uh... Okay. So that takes care of the majority of them. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is take out the turrets. Which, easy enough, you can kind of get a couple shots off of them. Hide behind something real quick while that turret disengages. And then just kind of hit them up again. There we go. That destroys one turret. Now we get some more dark forces to take care of while we're dealing with that. see me somehow. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out this right turn here before it has a chance to take me out. There we go. Now both turns are down. Where's this guy? There he is. Now we've got actually a cool couple places we can take a look at, so now, instead of falling to my death, I can show you a spot for you to get a secret. So now, you can come down here, grab some JB grenades, scan your secret, and we pop back up. I don't think there was any secrets up here to scan, but we'll double check around. You can grab us SMG up here. You could have used that to your advantage for the guy who was standing up here. It would have blown him up, but I didn't do it in this run through. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, yes. All right. So that's going to be our exit out of after we come out of that. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to climb up this rock. jump over, activate the gate, and let's see, uh, nope, no other secrets here, so, basically done on that front, we'll have some lepers to take care of, that takes care of that. is they will start climbing the ladder, or cl climbing the gate, to come after me. Wow, these guys are... You can shoot them through the wall, you can shoot them while they're climbing. You have some advantage for you. There we go.
grab that. And we can move on. Whoa! Missed my shot. And this is this is interesting. Uh, for whatever reason, this is here, but yeah, can't do nothing to it. Not sure what that was for, but it's there. And uh, no secrets hidden back here, so yeah, we are pretty much done on that front. He jumps down. Uh, this guy. Yep, here's the other secret for this level. And we continue on. Alright, so that starts the next firefight here. It gets a bit interesting because you got snipers and all sorts of fun enemies to try to take out while you're also getting grenades thrown at you left and right. Oh shoot! No, missed him! Okay, let me go get some health. Maybe. If there's any within close per... There is none. I will go back and grab this. Keep my grenades full. Let's see, what did I leave available? Right there. Perfect. That'll be enough. I'll do my sidestep walking so I can get back there quickly. Whoa, he came after me! Hey! That's not cool, man. Alright, so we'll take out the next sniper that's up there. He is uh, more than well aware of where I am. There is a secret to scan out here, so we'll be looking for that too. lockdown prevents us from going through the doors so the game expects us to come down here and it uses this guy's corpse to kind of direct us that way and you can also use the ladder here if you so desired and of course can't go any further so we are once again directed to find a scenic route and let's see so we come down that's uh yep, can't follow that, so it's not that way. You see this poor guy getting closer. It's not over here, is it? Nope. Alright. So ah. we're very close to it. Just over here. We'll go up the stairs. And of course, as we do that, more dark forces are going to show up. And I think that was all of them. The game says yes. <laughs> Interesting. Where is my secret that I'm missing here? Because it's right on top of my nose. Oh! Oh! It goes higher. Another place I've never been up to. Alright, oh, 
wow, they did not like me coming up here. Not that I blame them. I mean, too there we go. Oh, there we go. I think that collected the last secret that I hadn't unlocked. So, I'm happy for that. So we disengaged the lock. The store kind of jams, but that's all right. I'll take that out. There we go. Anger. I feel it coursing through my body. I'm becoming a pawn in a war between giants. My life, I want it back. I need control. And now we enter the more alien part of the facility, as I like to call it. This guy will get Who's us that? there. I, I thought I was the only one left. I'll open the door. Watch out. They're everywhere. Let me see if these guys are uh, occupied, taking out uh, more lepers as they're coming up the uh, thing. the explosive barrels. So, good to know. scientist because he's the only one who knows how to operate these gizmos. Uh, but we'll just do a quick uh, inventory of what's available for us up here before we go grab them. So we've got health, we've got, um, we've got ammo, health, and that goes for both ways. And both turrets are now also available for when we 
come back. Who's out there? Somebody's out there. Yep, there they are. Yep. So there we go. So now we can go back and retrieve the scientist that we left back in the other room there. Get to the security system. Yep. And just like the other door, his door gets jammed. And of course, uh, of course we can, uh, if you want to, you can come on in. But you can't go into the room that he was in. And of course, there's nothing to scan. So, no secrets to be found there. Also, I find it funny. I'm not even sidewalking, and I'm still running faster than him. Now, if I sidewalked, I'd be even faster. But I'm gonna sidewalk because I want to grab some health before he gets over here. And make sure all my weapons are properly reloaded. Yeah. All right. It's going to take me a while. At the door security, the lockdown protocols will trip any nearby alarms. Get in one of those turrets and cover me. Yep. While I try to... And of course, uh, the game actually gives you a choice of either either, either turret. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, for my convenience, I'm going to actually choose the turret on the right. And I gotta get in it quick because the uh, dark forces are gonna start flooding in at any moment. <laughs> Thank you for the help. The security protocols are shut down past that doorway, so you should be able to keep going. Now that I have root access, I'm locking myself in here until help arrives. Yep. So he will be left here, and we can continue onward. There's the dark forces take care of here. They shut the door on the other side of the door. But that's okay, because we get some dynamite. This game loves its uh, scenic routes. So come over here, grab what we can. Um, 
any secrets for me to point out? Uh, I don't think so. Yep. So we'll stick a piece of dynamite in there, and just like the turret, just hit it with whatever weapons we've got, and just like that. Get some lepers. They are none too happy to see me, but I'll dispatch them just as quickly. All right. And so begins. So here's your last secret before you jump down. And this starts the first boss battle. This is where we will fight the Theta. So we jump down and we're just kind of like, yeah, what's up? What's over here? And first we get attacked by these guys. Being careful not to blow up the canisters that are all around us. And there's the boy. And he blows up one of the canisters. Alright, and now this is the best weapon to use against him because this is going to be pretty all the damage we can get to get him uh, to do. It is a potent weapon indeed. 
In me runs the disease and the cure. To restore your humanity, you must inject my blood. In time, my DNA will combine with yours, cleansing you of the virus. Dr. Trey thought releasing the virus would stop the elites and their unholy pact with my kind. You must seek out the departing vessel and destroy it. If it escapes with its deadly cargo, your world will perish. Ethan Cole, you must now play your part. Go now. Leave this hell and save your world. But know my blood binds you to me forever. World annihilation. Is that what we deserve? I don't think so. It's my turn now to finish the deal. Send them a message they won't forget. And now we are long, long ways from anything like anything we've seen before. The environment completely changes. It is completely foreign and alien. Hello! <laughs> there are many of them. They don't speak. They use telepathy. Very interesting. And so with that, we can start looking for secrets. And of course with this one, the secrets are a little bit different because they actually uh, look different as well. Let's see. Um, I was actually expecting this to be an opening, but it is not. So let's keep going. I'm swiftly expecting something to start attacking me, but that has not yet. Open some doors. And just check it. Yep, that's the way. So, this is the other way. So, we can open up these two containers. One of them contains health, I think the other one contains our secret. Nope, JB grenades. Oh, here's your secret. So now the secrets look like this. So if you find these, you found it. I've already collected that one, so that's why I can't scan it. And alright, my favorite... Uh in the game. So these are like the turrets from back there, but these are a little bit more annoying because you have to actually bring them out of the, their uh, cage to actually take them out. That, defect, that defensive uh, thing around them will prevent you from killing them unless you bring them out. So there we go. That takes those guys out. And you gotta appreciate the, the sound effects that they've done for the doors. Part of it Just the wheel. <laughs> yep, so there's some more of those uh, gas clouds. I don't even know what to describe them other than gas clouds, so. Can take those out like that. And this screen will be your secret to scan. Now, unlock the details about the theta so it's completely optional and you can miss some of these Secret. Ah, and here you are. Here's the one that I was talking about. I had not even collected it. I feel terrible. Yep, so now we're up in that room where we saw the greys, where they were kind of looking down upon us. 
now we are in that spot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to activate that. That's going to move our vehicle up onto that platform. For once we get up there. And we go on. And so next is the autopsy room. Now a cool part about this part of the map is um, this part is actually reused for the multiplayer map called Invader. And the cool part is uh, they've kept a couple of these, a couple things. So the autopsy room here is definitely available. And we can just see that they're conducting an experiment on this poor man while he's alive. And then they just kind of look at us like, enjoying the show? Eh, not really. And then they kind of poke it, poke at him, and they're like, "Ooh, look at this! Look at his lungs!" <laughs> uh, yep. And so we can see a couple of them in the room. You can take them out. Uh, at least one of them. I got two of them. That triggers the alarm. Now you have four turrets to deal with in this room. And we'll try to make haste. This level, this part of the room is also in the multiplayer. Although slightly different. And, uh, a little easter egg here. In the multiplayer, they fixed the ground here. Here, uh, yeah, you can kind of fall through the map here. It's a little spot in the map where it's, uh, a little interesting. In the multiplayer, um, you could use that to your advantage to glitch outside of the map and get into places you weren't supposed to. Uh, namely here, you can get down in there. Of course, once you got in there, you are essentially stuck. Um, you could basically get up in the ceiling, you could get up there, you could get behind this wall. All sorts of weird stuff just because of this weird one spot in the door. And because of this interesting little rock, you can actually jump up there just because of this door. All because of this door. Um, I'll have to do a video one day demonstrating that because it was a, as a player from the old times, it was a, one of the coolest pieces of the game where if you knew how to do it, you could do it. Uh, it was very frustrating, but possible. So, that said, we will continue onward. And so now we face our first Grey, who is actually out to kill us. And we can see that he spawns these orbs that spawn them. I've got the wrong weapon equipped for this engagement. This time, with the right weapon equipped right at the very beginning. Oh, and I will give that weapon a second to recharge, because I'm going to want that to be fully available to me. There we go. 
All right, second time's the charm. I knew I was in trouble there. As I took out the gray. That's unfortunate. Ugh. This is where the hard difficulty really shows its difficulty, especially with these guys. There's uh, one other spot where you basically face the same gray, but uh, in a different spot, but there's like two of them. I think this time I'm going to try to focus on getting the special ops people down first, instead of trying to attack him, because getting him down low seems to be getting me killed again, so. Let's get some well-placed shots on him, Let's see where those guys are spawning. Well, it doesn't matter at all. Your grenade. Hide 
on the edges of the doors where you can't see them. So it's kind of a shock when they uh, when you walk into a room and they're right on the edge there. Open the door again. Oh, what a surprise. Wow, that expended a lot more ammo than I wanted. Alright, that's fine. Might be alright. There we go. Bring an end to that. Uh oh. say take him out with the shotgun because any other weapon is basically inefficient against them and we make it up to the platform and we can go there's a calmness when you're in the presence of these aliens but you'd be an idiot to trust them they like talking with gestures I'd like to talk to them with this cannon It's actually one of the few times in the game where I'm actually curious of why they gave you the mason cannon, because, um, you can effectively take out those gas balls with the shotgun, but the mason cannon is really overkill for basically anything. Um, it's useful, I guess, for some things, but definitely one of the more OP weapons in the game. I guess I'll use it, uh, on somebody just as a demonstration of what it can do. It's definitely useful for crowd control, because it's, uh, more effective at taking out multiple enemies at once. Let's see, item dispenser, yep, so our secret. Take a scan at that. weapon while I'm here. Oh, and some mason cannon ammo. So now I've got two of them. Maybe I will use it against somebody at some point. How oh dare you. I saw that grenade. So here comes the more difficult part of this. I am down to regular grenades on that one. Alright, so what we'll do. So now that I'm effectively running out of things. Crowd control. Literally. It's very overpowered for basically any engagement. and they will take out the bridge on you.
Eventually this is your turn to get revenge on the guys who try to do the same to you by just doing it back to them. Oop, I was supposed to let them get a little bit further across and then they would have fallen down it. But that's alright. Full responsibility for messing that one up. That's okay. If they were further across the bridge, they actually would have fallen. Okay, now this part gets tricky because here, I think, is where, yep, uh, all the health con containers are telling me. Uh, this is where you have to fight two of those greys at the same time. Uh, so double the amount of enemies that you have to face, double the amount of... Double the difficulty, basically, of trying to bring this guy down. And you gotta deal with not only the grey, but you also have to deal with the spec ops people at the same time. Who's more guilty for this carnage? The aliens or the humans who agreed to the pact in the first place? I've come too far to back down now.
Ah, yes, I forgot. There is going to be one more boss battle I'll have to face, and that's going to be him. So I don't 
get crushed underneath these. Cool. So now we make it up here. Don't think there's anything to scan. You're, you're, you are. If you've made it this far and you haven't taken damage, you're a liar. Oh. And yep, there's another reason why the game gives you some help, because it knows that's coming up. <laughs> so, yep, you'll be back. Give it a second. Yep, that's all it takes. Yep. And now, we can ride our cruiser that away. I think and I can't believe that this is the world I now know. A world where monsters exist. This maglev once took me to the truth. And now I hope it brings me to my destiny. And so this begins the final chapter of Area 51. This becomes the end. So now we're instructed to find the core beneath, inside the ship. From there. to deal with. Come on. Back. Uh oh, not you. I don't need pistol ammo, I need health. And there's, uh, there's the core ship. from a distance, it is loading up with all sorts of goodies. And if we zoom in here, that is a ton of Thetas. Just a bunch of replicas of the same boss we fought. Just a lot of them. Hence why when Edgar said, our world will perish, this is what he meant. This will be real difficult. Yep. Knew it. It's coming in with not a lot of. Oh no! Don't tell me I got to do all that again. Oh no. Oh. Okay. All right. I got this. All right. We're gonna do things a little differently. Take them out right from the beginning. What on earth? Ah! Okay. Well, that happened. 
I I don't even know what just happened there. But okay. For the first part. That's so much easier. <laughs> that that was almost too easy. That was too easy to be on hard. <laughs> This is the room that I, uh, that will be the, uh, ultimate test of how well I can beat this game on hard, uh, because over there will be the last and final battle against the Greys, and it is just as difficult as you can imagine, because you have a shield protecting this guy, so you basically have to stand here to kill him, he's gonna spawn right here, but we'll get to that when we get there. He's going to be a very difficult battle. Let's see. Here we go. Alright. And I actually want to leave some of these health uh, health things for me for later because I'm gonna need them uh, come the battle in that room. So I don't want to use them all, all at once yet, but I do want to use a little bit of them. Not all.
health, shotguns, more ammo for your mason cannon if you were using it all this way. So, you activate the bridge. Those guys go across. You know what I'm gonna do. Nope, sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't get to do it the other time, so I absolutely had to get it that time. It was very important. <laughs> Um, and funny, funny note, you actually can't just jump down and avoid the whole boss battle. It will kill you. Even though you could totally survive the fall from here. I know. Silly. So, some people are going to meet me right up as they come. I think it's two of them. Nope, just one. Spawns. And the hard part is you also have to deal with the turret that's underneath them as well. So make your choice of what you what you take out first. Because it's gonna be important whatever you take out first. I definitely recommend taking out the alien first because he's going to be he's gonna give you the most grief because you have to spawn these guys in. Um, just keep your eye on the turret because it will attack you. As well. It's over. <laughs> we did it. Cool. I remember redoing this fight over and over and over. Uh, this was actually the fight I was expecting to have to redo two or three times, not the one in the very beginning. <laughs> so, that's hilarious. Oh! They got snipers. That's okay. I do too. Take that, you jerks. Alright, so we have made it. Welcome to the core. Basically, from this point on, it's actually rather simple. Um, so you can uh, walk around here a little bit. Um, there's not really much to the outside perimeter of the core ship. Uh, I think there's maybe, I think it's on the right here. Might be your last scannable secret. Nope. All right. So without further ado, Welcome to the end game. Yes. Basically speed blitz this. Many times I've done this. Alright, I'm gonna wanna get behind one of these now. So 
So the hard part about this part is you've got, you're blowing up basically the reactor's edges. Um, and now it's got turrets to take care of. Uh, you gotta, you basically have to stay behind these the entire time. Um, because they provide your protection from the turrets attack, as well as the, uh, fire that is just flowing right out of that from uh, the damage you've done already. Basically, just kind of... The cool part is uh, it's not very difficult. You just kind of track the core. It doesn't really change beyond that rotation. And you can basically just line it up. Uh, take a couple shots at those turrets as they fly across. Same thing, they retract it within. And there we go. And then the core collapses. It basically creates a black hole that starts engulfing everything. Uh, and you're basically given 50 seconds to get out of here, so... Uh, and there's, uh, there is a spot to scan, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, so, yep. It's chaos, and it's crazy, but you can make it. And we'll just fly through there. Take care of this guy. Oh, I killed the alien! That was waiting at the end of the, uh at the end of the patch here. And essentially, here's your last scan. That's your last item. And we run! And as we do, the base gets destroyed. For Sartre once said, hell is other people. He was only half right. There's the truck. My mind and body have been altered beyond reason. I don't know who or what I am anymore. We came here to rescue a small group of men. We failed. I failed. But their sacrifices may have saved mankind. For now. And that's the game. And so essentially we've... i basically gone... Oh no, I did miss one. I missed one in one of them. I must have not, not gone back. Wow. That's unfortunate. I missed just one secret. Throughout that. But so, we have all the secret file. Oh no, we don't. Wow. Because I didn't find that secret file. I guess I'm gonna have to go back and find them. I got 18 out of 21. Well, darn! But yep, so, and because I beat the game on hard, that has unlocked the gray avatars for the multiplayer. And, yeah. And, right, the multiplayer doesn't work anymore, but, but yeah. So that was Area 51, from front to back, on the hardest difficulty. It's definitely got, it, the, the, the amount of times I've played it and the amount of uh, run-throughs I've done, I could definitely tell it's uh, grown on me. But it's still a classic, I still love this game, I could see myself coming back to it every now and then. Um, but yeah, that was, over, that was very fun, it was very exciting. and. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, let me know. Well, thank you for joining me along for the ride, and 
maybe you learned a thing or two, or maybe you uh, had some nostalgia from uh, seeing the gameplay again. But thank you all for coming out.